Hi you guys, Artistry is me here and I'm here today with you. Um, I know it's been a while, it's been a long time since I recorded and I've had so many candles piling up, empty jars. I've actually thrown some away but I had some free time so I said that this would be perfect to grab some of those empty jars because they were starting to annoy me and I was about to just throw them away and I said well why don't I do a candle review for you guys so I grabbed about maybe a half of my stash and uh, grabbed a couple different scents to show you what I've been burning okay so let's get started the first one I want to show you guys is from Walmart and this is vanilla cream this candle really surprised me um, for I think I got this for like two dollars it was just ridiculously cheap but the scent throw and the authenticity of the fragrance oh my goodness it's a very very sweet candle it's not uh, a simple vanilla fragrance I get a lot of sugar almost like a brown sugar in this candle but as you can see it burned really really nicely and for two bucks from Walmart what more can you ask for um, the scent throw was really nice I believe I put this in my master bath and I could smell it all the way in the bedroom in the master bedroom so of course this is a one wick so for two dollars and look at that it's all the way down to the you know the little silver piece and that's like clean in there down the bottom where the silver piece is if you can see that little circle it burned clean through so it's not that much wax that's in it so for two dollars I'm impressed so if you guys ever see that candle out and that's the funny thing I got a three wick from Walmart maybe about a couple a couple days ago and when I went to find it it was only one left and I don't know maybe it's just my Walmart I don't know what's going on right now with their stock but these candles which is funny they don't have a maker on them but I heard that they're by essential candles but anyway I didn't see any of this brand at the Walmart store and usually I see quite a bit of them but I haven't seen anything I don't even see any Better Homes and Gardens wax cubes or sensationals but that's another story so like I said if you can find this at your local Walmart then I would grab it okay the next one is along the lines of a uh, vanilla scent as well and this is Bath and Body Works homemade cookies Homemade cookies is a really nice scent, and I will read the scent description for you. And it says, whipped buttercream and pure cane sugar mixed with vanilla bean and rich sweet cream. That pretty much sums it up. The photograph on the candle is deceiving because it has a picture of chocolate chip cookies. I don't get any notes of chocolate in this. Maybe someone else does, but the candle doesn't smell like chocolate chip cookies to me, really. No, it doesn't. It just basically smells like a sugar cookie, if you will. But as far as the burn, as you can see, it had a clean burn for a one wick candle. I can't complain no tunneling because with Bath and Body Works that can be a hit or miss for me with the one wick candle sometimes I don't like to buy the four ounce candles from them because of that fact but um as far as the scent throw it wasn't a major scent throw I've heard a lot of people say that this is a light scent even with the three wicks to me it got a little stronger maybe about halfway down um other than that, it wasn't a really, really strong scent throw. It was pretty light. Still a nice fragrance. I still have one more 4 ounce and one more 
three wick in this when the semi-annual sale started I have yet to purchase any more of this scent though I don't know to me I can kind of get this fragrance in the vanilla noel when it comes back or even though that's more of a rich sweet cream smell or this kind of smells like warm vanilla sugar to me the homemade cookies so we'll see but other than that it was a nice fragrance um maybe if i didn't have any more left i would buy some but i think i'm good right now so again that was homemade cookies then i have market peach which is a really nice scent. I didn't buy it this year. This is actually one that I had from last year when their Fresh Pick line came out. And this fragrance says, Fresh Pick Peaches by the Bushel with a touch of red raspberry and citrus layered with notes of rich vanilla. And that's Market Peach. It's funny because I really don't get vanilla in this. I just get a ripe peach. The burn, as you can see, was really nice. Um, the wicks actually burned out all the way to the end, which is really good. The scent throw was really nice with this candle. I put this in my kitchen, and to me, that's how I know if a candle from Yankee or Bath and Body Works is a hit or miss for me or anybody. If I can put it in my kitchen because I have an open area, if I can put it in my kitchen and I can smell it in the living room or even upstairs. Now that's a really good one. Then the strong is the throw is really strong and that's what happened with this candle. So Market Peach is a really good buy especially for the spring and summer. It just smells like a fresh ripe peach. Um, that's what I get. Like I said, I don't get the, but it's, you know what, I guess the vanilla makes it a little creamy. So it's not more of a tart peach, but a creamy peach. So, okay, there you go. That's where that vanilla comes in it. So it's not a tart peach, it's a creamy peach. More like a peaches and cream. Okay. So, Market Peach from Bath and Body Works. Okay. Slide that back in there. And I guess I might as well keep up with the Bath and Body Works theme. So I'll go to the next Bath and Body Works one. And that is Espresso Bar. I love Espresso Bar. I actually went and I got two more. Um, maybe, um, you know, when it first came out and the candles were on sale. And the scent description for this is... In Italy, you never take your coffee to go. Instead, you stop and savor the aromas of roasted espresso beans, sweet vanilla froth that all inspired this fragrance. Hmm. Nice. That's all I have to say. This is a really nice fragrance. Um, it's different from the other coffee fragrances, fragrances they've had, like, um, Let's see. Um, I say coffee, but I guess peppermint mocha. When I think of mocha, sometimes I automatically think, um, you know, coffee. But, um, you know, I guess mocha can also be just, you know, it's just a reference for chocolate. But um, the peppermint mocha to me um, gave me a, you know, reminder of like a, a mocha coffee or something from Starbucks. But this one is just straight coffee. Um, which smells really nice, especially if you're a coffee drinker like I am. The fragrance was really nice. The burn, as you can see, was a really good burn. I don't have any soot. That's one thing I like about, about Bath and Body Works. You don't get a lot of soot with their candles. It burned all the way down the wicks actually burned themselves out as you can see it's a little dark in there and you want to know what's funny I just took this lid out off and out of all the Bath and Body Works candles that I just did when I took this lid off the coffee smell is so strong so 
espresso bar is really nice the throw is a really nice throw it's strong medium to strong um, if you burn this it's smelling just like you're um, making a fresh pot of coffee that's what it smells like so espresso bar if you see this and you're a coffee lover or even if you're not a coffee drinker I know some people some friends that I had they don't drink coffee but they like the smell of coffee so this is an alternative so that your house can smell like coffee but you're not actually going through the motions of making it so again that's espresso bar and the next one I have is by Everyday Lux and I got this from I believe Marshalls and it wasn't that much I believe I got this for maybe like $5.99 their candles aren't that expensive the Everyday Lux brand and um, this fragrance is lemon bars and this was a really nice fragrance um, just imagine a very creamy lemon scent um, with lots of sugar um, like a lemon cupcake it, it just it was a really nice creamy lemon scent and I love lemon scents especially in the spring and summer um, the burn was really good I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, if it looks a little dirty in there, it's only because I had an incense, and instead of getting the holder, I just stuck it in the wax so that it could burn. So, other than that, this candle really didn't have any soot, and it really was a good burn. The scent throw was really nice. I burned this first in my bedroom, and then I wanted to see how it would do in an open space, so I burnt it in my kitchen, and it did very well definitely filled up my kitchen and I could smell it in my living room so for $5.99 that's a pretty good buy and I always see candles in Marshalls by Everyday Lux um, I believe they also carry their products in maybe TJ Maxx too and even Home Goods because I know they're all under the same chain so uh, lemon bars by Everyday Lux would be a nice one to buy if you like lemon scents Okay, just gonna stack these back up where they were. Okay, and the next two that I have are by Yankee Candle, and I guess I'll do this one first because I searched and searched and searched for this, and it was so funny around Christmas time. My coworker knew that I wanted this scent, so she arranged to get the fragrance. I didn't even know that the store had it. She slipped by me and paid for it and ended up giving it to me as a Christmas gift, along with uh, there was one other fragrance in the box because it was a two-pack, and I believe it was um, brown sugar or brown sugar and spice, something like that. But these are the medium jars, and as you can see, it has a old label. So the carrot cake um, was very nice. But I say this is funny because, of course, Yankee brought carrot cake back this year in their treasures. So actually, I think it came out maybe around, yeah, maybe this year, maybe around January or so. It's been there for a while, and it's still there throughout the semi-annual sale so it's just funny that I searched and searched for this scent and then it came out you know this year but anyway on to the candle as you can see the burn was really really nice um, it's not a lot of soot I used an Illuminate with this so you know that definitely helps with Yankee candles to give it a better burn as far as the scent the picture, I believe, definitely does it justice. You just get the um, butter, the cream cheese of the frosting, the uh, cinnamon, and the nutty uh, scents from the carrot cake, the raisins. It just really smells like a carrot cake. 
and I love carrot cake so <laughs> if you're a carrot cake lover like I am then I think this is definitely a scent for you also if you're a bakery scent lover I like a lot of bakery sweet scents so this was right up my alley carrot cake was really good as far as the scent throw I'm trying to think if I burned it in my kitchen I know I burned this in my bedroom I kind of wanted the scent all to myself <laughs> so I burned this in my bedroom and it filled up the bedroom so I do I did purchase two more large jars of the carrot cake so when I end up when I burn those I'll try it in the kitchen but um, I'm sure the scent will do well in the kitchen because it's a um, it's a pretty it's a medium scent throw to me it's not overpowering but you can definitely smell it so that's carrot cake if you can get your hands on this because this is a retired scent it's a classic I would do so now before they take it away again so that's carrot cake and the next fragrance I have was kind of a bummer and I say that because I couldn't smell it that much and that is good old apple strudel a lot of people like apple strudel I've seen a lot of reviews on it um I don't know at first I thought I had a dud so actually had gotten another apple I had another apple strudel I'm sorry I believe I brought two so because I thought this one was a dud I burned the other one so the other one to me was doing the same thing I really couldn't smell it it was really really light so I ended up taking the other one back and you know keeping one because I said you know I want to burn it to the end maybe I'll hit a scent pocket you know but 